the way that a cat is and the beauty that's in a cat, they're like no other animal. And they have a sense of self, and they have a sense of majesty, I guess it is. These are animals who sleep in our beds, who are our best friends, who are always there for us. Why would anyone want to claw a cat? As a veterinarian, I've worked on six continents, but a lot of my patients are actually captive animals. In fact, they're actors. But I was also a veterinarian for animals who had wound up in sanctuaries or on animal compounds. Many of them are declawed and crippled. I would ask, why are all these cats declawed? And the answer, because it supposedly makes them safer to work with. This is when I realized that if there were this many big cats declawed and crippled, then there had to be millions of domestic cats who were suffering in the same way. It's not on the forefront of animal cruelty, but it's such an injustice in the fact that it's their doctors doing it to them. It's a lot easier on your kitty when they're young. That would be the equivalent of taking these cigar cutters and slipping my finger through and cutting this whole last bone off. And it's even worse because their doctors aren't telling what they're doing. You can get them before they've had a chance to tear up your good new furniture. And what that tells me is that people are elevating the rights of their sofas and their chairs above the rights of their animals. Martin Luther King said, laws can't change the heart, but they can restrain the heartless. And that's when I decided the only way to stop these animals from being declawed is to make it illegal. There's a saying that all that's needed for evil to prevail in the world is for good people to do nothing.